everyone, my name is Umu, and I'm React to the K's channel creator. Hello everyone, I'm Sean, React to the K's channel arranger and host of Classical Composer Breaks Down the K, and this is our reaction to Super M's 100. Super M is back! I believe this is a pre-release single for their upcoming album. I did check out the teaser earlier, and it seems like this is a Target slash car ad, but with highly produced music, so I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Drop in in three, two, one. Okay, right off the bat with fancy sounds. I uh, remember that sound from the preview. It's a really nice, just like very granulated sound. Oh. I liked how we built into harmony and then we went back into a shouted less harmonious. Okay, there's the harmony. Starting out with a mark rap. Wrecking ball? We're still moving forward rhythmically. I almost, we're gonna have a break coming up. Something tells you. Yep. Gotta give Bacon his riffing section. Ah, hello, major modal mixture. We have some background vocals, fire S. I guess the chorus is just the we go hundred part. Okay, I guess this is a new part of it. I wasn't sure. I kind of assumed that that was a post chorus. And then the team gets second pre-chorus. <laughs> yeah, I feel like has is this Tamian's first lines in this so far? Um, because I think Beethoven started the first pre-chorus. I feel like yeah, I'm I'm assuming more Tamian in the bridge because I feel like there's not been a lot of like Tamian dance time. This is such an SM entertainment. The rhythm and the way the chords resolve. Okay, yeah, of course, Bacon has to do a higher note than last time. The melody that they do choose to have in the chorus I'm gonna talk about later. Bruh. Bruh, okay. So that whole time, there's like, you know, this this checklist that is forming in my mind of what certain musical elements will create an SM entertainment song. And so while I was listening to that for the first time, I was like, oh, this, the the dubstep is Chinese everybody and Irene and Salgi's monster. And then the is in, you know, dropping and a bunch of other SM songs. Uh, then like the the brought down to a really minimalistic part that reminded give me you know punch NCT 127 punch vibes I just got so many different vibes from so many different SM entertainment songs so it was just kind of fun to have this like little salad of SM classic uh, musical moments yeah that was good I want to go back into the bridge because I feel like I was spent I spent most of that just going oh huh 
wow, oh, and not actually saying anything interesting, so. Into the bridge. As fairly standard for SM bridges, more vocal harmonies, smoother. The everyone sings ah in a chord. Yeah, I like having this tie into the intro, so it's just like, it's not, it's a really striking texture, this sort of quasi whispered. And then this is, Exo's done this trick a couple of times where it sounds like it's about, the bridge is about to loop back into the, not loop, but head into the chorus, and then it diverts over into a rap section. Yeah, this is a really good comeback of being a solid song, but like still leaving room that they can, they can make something even bigger for the, for the full comeback, the, the like actual album release title track. Meanwhile. It's just like holding on to, okay, I'm guessing this is tonic. This is the home note of the key we're in. Da 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 D. So, so this song is in overall D minor, which is a certain pattern of notes that sounds like one. That's the main note that tells us da 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 da. Those are the notes that tell us it's in a minor key. So at this part we go from D, then we jump up to a B flat note, which is in the minor scale, and, and then we go back to scale degree five, which could be either major or minor, taken from either major or minor scale. Da da. Da! Instead of, that's in key. We go major here. And that's just such a classic SM move where you, you jump, you're like playing around with the minor scale and then you land on the major three in the vocals um, to show like really obvious modal mixture. Okay, we're gonna continue. Even the rhythms. For the melody that is in other than we go 100 in the chorus it goes we, we go, which is scale to be 1, we go 7, we go 2, we go back to 7 and then 1. And the reason why I feel like that isn't a typical melody is because not too often in melodies do we highlight the leading tones, which is scale degree 7 and then also scale degree four, and then two is kind of in between. Um, but I, li I liked those leaps and those choices of notes to highlight because, you know, it isn't like the most mainstream melody and it makes it, makes it a little bit more of a unique sound. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, 16 seconds in three, two, one. Yeah, first verse has two parts, because we start with the chorus, right? And then we go have like, kind of have two parts to the first verse in which we just repeat the loops of the instrumental. And then we take the same instrumental that we had in the verse, except with new percussion samples, I believe. Okay, can't, can't slow down, because the part, the thing is, is that at that part, Kai is kind of can't, can't slow down. Since it's spoken, it isn't quite hitting a pitch, but then can't slow down is very much a pitch. So that interval kind of tickled my ears at that moment because it didn't quite match up. I thought that, I thought that part was really interesting. It's the syncopated rhythm. Da, 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 da. That shows up in a lot of SM songs. Nice background vocals at that part. Wow, that's only a third, but yeah, it still sounds a little bit crunchy. There might be some other hidden overtones in that. Yeah. 
Is that the same note as dropping? I feel like that might be the same note. <laughs> oh, he would have to fuck, yo! Cause... <laughs> yo! Fake on got range! We're gonna move on and zoom shot now. Yo, that was, that was like a perfect... Yeah. Wait, is the word summation? So, combination of just SM. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I feel like this is very much a song within sort of Super M's, to, to the extent that Super M have established a style, which is, you know, not all that much with just one mini album, this seems very much like them. Yeah. Like, it has some very NCT production elements, it has ew, ew, ew. sort of big, either orchestra or quasi-orchestral sounds in there. I don't think, it doesn't sound as directly orchestral, but have some of those sort of big chorus sounds that resemble orchestra a bit. Grand. Um, grand, yeah. I, I, I talked a bit about the sort of the many parts of a bridge being a fairly SM boy group thing. Oh, um, like the melodic like, section versus the dance break? Yeah, there's the melodic section, and then it has a dance break, and then it diverts again to do, for Mark and Taehyung to rap some more. <laughs> I mean, probably the most extreme example that comes to mind is Cherry Bomb, where it's like, there's the sung bit, and then it switches to Mark's, uh, Mark's rap, and then it switches to a dance break. Um, and granted, like that, Cherry Bomb's also pushing pretty hard on it even being pop song form so much as just a form where a thing keeps coming back as a refrain. So maybe it may be unfair to even call that a bridge, but also like EXO's Monster, like has the song bit, really sounds like it's about to hit the third chorus and then breaks into another right. rap. So like this, it, this seems like a very sort of SM thing to do to just keep developing the bridge into a really large section with multiple subsections. And yeah, I mean, it's also, it's nice to see just sort of showing off the power of like bringing together a super group of their best from multiple groups like Kyun is the high notes boy um <laughs> I, I i liked i'm pretty sure unless my sense of pitch glitched out um i think i think he went up to a g this time yes half step up. E flat. yeah so i am i i have now i'm hoping that that can just become a thing where like every super M M V he goes a little bit higher <laughs> Um, Until he defies the human law of range. Something new that happened to this song was the amount of times that we relied on the rhythmic flow and the vocals to line up with the beats in the instrumental, like complete unison, right? So like right before we go into the chorus, the da da da, or something like that, like we go into like a triplet and everything disappears except for that percussion sample and except for that voice doing the exact same things. Oh, okay, right? I didn't I, notice that. I feel like that's a new motif that I haven't heard much in SM songs. And that okay. also happened when we transitioned to the second verse um, with Kai's rap. And it's, okay. I think also there's a part where Mark did it too, but that's, that's, it's so satisfying whenever we, you know, we go from this very grand production to something just so, spot on and specific and emphasized yeah. and oh it, it creates yeah. such nice contrast and then yeah. the second thing that came to mind was i'm so used to uh sm group songs having completely different second verse from the first so it was really interesting to hear this um the main would you say it's a affected guitar or a synth that sounds like a guitar the um bass line yeah some sort of distorted synth. Right, so one, yeah, that sound, the sound of the bass was great, but also we had it looped throughout of the track a lot more than I'm used to, because it was in the first verse and then repeated into the chorus and then repeated into the second verse. Okay. So we didn't have too much change from that repeating throughout, which I almost wish that there was more of a change. I think sometimes they did use a different effect on it, so it sounded more muffled, so it was a little bit more smooth and less textured at times, but I kind of wish we had more variation with that. That's like That's my fair. only critique. That's fair. I, I felt like they'd done a, a good job sort of mixing up in the verses the singing and the rapping. Mm, mm -hmm. uh, like this was something, like my one, I like Jopping a lot, but like my one big complaint with Jopping is that the first verse is twice as long as it should be. That like I get kind of bored halfway through the first verse of Jopping 
Um, whereas I feel like this kept it tighter and also like switching between rapping and singing so that each one stayed fresh and neither one started to feel like it was too much of the same sort of sound. Yeah, um, that makes so sense. So I really, I liked how they, how they paced that out while still keeping, like without losing, giving, giving them really good moments for rapping and singing. Like it wasn't like they took out um, showing off the members. Right. I'm, this is a, such a solid song and we're looking forward to all of Superhomes releases yep. in the future. This, the end of 2020 is going to be insane. Yeah. Yeah. Another one in what, a few weeks and then proper comeback full album. And along the, with so many other artists too. They're doing several people are doing like single, single and then full album. Ah! It's going to be crazy for us multi stands. Ah! <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you guys then. Thanks so much for watching. Um, we actually, if you're a hardcore fan of our channel, we are going to have some merch coming out in a few months, but if you haven't filled out our survey already, I'll put that in the description so we can determine um, final prices. The more people interested, the cheaper you're going to be. We want to, we, I just want to make things as cheap as possible. Um, so yeah, if you haven't filled out the survey already, please do. And yeah, we'll have a lot of cool things coming your way. Bye guys! Bye.